taking orders, serving gas station owners, retail stores, and maybe other, other opportunities could sprout out. So what I would advise you is to give maximum time. I know it's first class today, but try to stay and bring yourself online. If not, at least be offline and get the maximum out of it. So over to you, Kamran. In the accounting world. In entire world, there are two types of accounting rules, which also known as accounting for announcements. It can be either US GAAP or IFRS. So, so that's the money that is reflected in the balance sheet that you don't own, but you owe to someone. So if we go back and think about the balance sheet equation, it's assets minus liabilities. Now you're saying that, hey, my car that I bought could be, for it has pretty good definitions of each of those items we covered. And when we do more examples in next class, things, things will start making sense to you. So that will be all for me today. Uh, we don't have need to uh, deep dive right now, but I will share it just for information is that the goods and services has been transferred, risk and liability has been transferred, and the ownership has been transferred. And there is no further condition or liability exists on the side of seller to perform his duties. In that regards, the sale has been made. It gets a little tricky when you are dealing with services or manufacturing or other sort of industries, but for our purposes, we'll keep example as simple in which our case, common stock is the equity account. So it's gonna be credit. If we go by this rule that the asset and expenses increased by debits and liability and revenue increased by credits, and also equity also increased by credits. So we will book yeah. trying to increase the balance and the normal balance is on the credit side. So we are going to book the entry on credit side. Again, let's spend some more time on in this step because it's very important to understand what are the normal balances. And if you want to increase that normal balance, what side of the entry you're gonna use. And if you wanna decrease that normal balance then you have to use payrolls. If we only consider business days, it will be 10 days in the first payroll and 10, 10 days on the second payroll. But in the month of May, we have 10, five days in the first, uh, 10 days on the first period, second, 10 days, 20 and 21 and 22. So we have two additional days, but those two additional dates of the, and the second payroll is for let's say 35,000 again. And the third payroll, which is going to be like $10,000 for example. So what's gonna happen is that when I reverse this currently thing. common stock established in a chart of accounts. So the good feature about QuickBooks is that you can add an account while you enter a journal entry. So I'm going to type in common stocks. Have to pay loan in three years, four years, six years, then it is considered a long-term loan, long-term liability. Because anything which extends beyond a year considered as a long federal ID identification number, which is similar to social security number for individuals. Same same logic that differentiate one company from the other company and its uh, ownership structure, everything in the, uh, in the database of the IRS. So in our case, we are going to use a fake tax ID number. Let's say we change terms to net 30. Now it's gonna change the data. Based on that, if you're receiving a discount, you can always uh, put there, then uh, you can say a memo here for the period of May 2022, the expense account 
we are going to use, let's say we have a utilities account. Uh, we click on uh, select that option and then save and close.